trying to have my ears good. blown off. I just wanted to make sure, yeah, we got to rotate people out tonight as well. Facts. All right, yeah, but we get to see Void Eon. This Void Eon, you know, really this is fun. fun. Yeah. Uh, we never get to see Void at local, so this is a new thing for yeah. people that like watching his streams, people that know him from Smash 4. This is a new thing, and hope was, you guys uh, enjoy it. saying in his interview yesterday that, you know, with Breakthrough, it was kind of really inspiring, uh, not only for me, but for him himself. He's like, man, like, I really want to make it back out to locals. I miss this. I was just where you were, Careflax, a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Void started... Um, at the bottom right, he made his way up, and uh, especially through Smash, where that's kind of where everyone got to know him and be familiarized with who he was as a player. Um, he's going back to the roots, man. Yeah, he's definitely going back to the roots. It's great to have uh, Void coming out, um, and all these players um, in general. I was just saying earlier with uh, Jack on the mic that there's a lot of uh, good players here tonight. It's super stacked. The competition's pretty fierce, so it's, it's pretty stacked for an MSM. It's pretty scary. nice. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. This is what we need for us to not get the quote-unquote SoCal sucks chance, you know? <laughs> so Man, we got to get, get those? All our best players need to come out, so I'm glad that Void's coming out. going to play we got to see how he plays and we've maybe a, a lot, lot of us of, uh, can learn from him you know yeah we've had a lot of socal love uh recently and that's yes. you know what it's all about coming out to yeah. we had a really great day yesterday and this is only adding to the greatness so this is what we want to see msm his Eon pikachu too this is uh, also super cool i know we all know uh, he dropped pichu but uh, i'm actually really enjoying watching his pikachu as well i yeah. knew he was gonna use him i, I mean isam e e says he's uh he's really nice so i mean if void can prove it too then you know, what's wrong with switching off Pichu? Yeah, exactly. And here we go. PS2 the pick. Trying to get the Nair loops just drops it right there. Mm -hmm. Go for the grab. Nair definitely wants that up till afterwards, connecting there. You know what he's looking for. Eon recognizing that, uh, using proper DI there to get out. Yeah, a little bit of missed input there, but now he's off stage. But, I mean, Pikachu having one of the best recoveries uh, oh can just make it right back. That was actually almost really good, too, of uh, Eon there. He went for the down throw, double up air there, and then he wanted that up B grab down, uh, kind of like hook shot move. Mm -hmm. And that was great damage already, pretty much evening it up. Yeah, but right now, again, Eon has Void on the corner, but that last hit going to shield poke. Yeah, now he has Arsene here, so this is a really scary situation. He's probably dead one more hit. <laughs> Imagine that killing right there. Yeah, no, this is uh, Void. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is actually super terrifying because Arsene can kill any of, with any move just about right now. So uh, yeah, Void uh, actually trying to stall it out. Yeah, Pikachu's not even that heavy. I mean, not it's not a big difference from Pichu and Pikachu. So with Arsene, you're not going to live too long. Ooh, the Thunder connecting. <laughs> that was so Void. Going for down throw Thunder there. He waited super patiently, stalled our Arsene. Stalled out Arsene there. He did not want to get hit by them. And he was able to keep a stock and get that conversion. That go. was super clean. And Void keeping this stock up until 150%. This is a big percent for uh, Pikachu. Yeah, sitting almost at 170 here. Okay, here we go with the the, ja the grab strings here. Yeah, drops the Nair Loop again. I think he's not buffering the up tilt. By the way, he does have Eon in a second stock and gets another Thunder. Eon at 69% already. This is scary, yeah, and Arsene out, but Eon not being as aggressive with Arsene as we usually see with Joker players. I feel like, I mean, even with the Void being at kill percent, yeah, okay, there he goes. He was looking a little scared there. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to get more percent tacked on. I mean, it's it's Void we're talking about. So, Eon still at 69%. Or Eon looks scared there, though, that's what I'm saying, even though he had Arsene, like, not at the ledge situation, yeah. but in neutral. Nice so. wait out on the Rebels guard. Mm -hmm. Has Eon, oh wait, he's too far, I think. That's going to be it. Oh, be. Yeah, no, no, his, his recovery is done like, Even with that Arsene, is That is really good. so much better than a Belmont's. Belmont <laughs> needs to get buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, okay. right. Void only at 18%, getting a nice parry. Not getting anything off of it, but right now, Eon needs to be attacking on a lot of percent. Already at 124%. This is not good. Yeah, Egon, uh, Eon, even Aegon. Aegon, I think, can move uh, a side B the wrong way there. Mm -hmm. The off like stage again. This is not good. No hitbox, but Void drops the thought that Eon was an upbeat a little earlier, just barely mistimes it and it costs him. Either way, nice spot dodge on the grab and gets an up smash. I actually feel like Eon kind of like stalled out the upbeat there, kind of to wait because he knew yeah. uh, he was going to want to go for the down air, just like Void's doing right now off stage, putting him in the situation. Already, though, Eon's SP gauge meter is almost filled. Well, I, I literally just think we just saw. Um, Arsene earlier. Arsene out like yeah. just a second ago. It comes out really fast, especially with the multi hits. So mm -hmm. here we go. 
Eon trying to attack on percent. Right now, doesn't have percent, but here we go. Mm, yeah, Void's still holding on um, to two stocks here, though. Definitely not. He, yeah, he's not scared to play aggressive right now. He knows what he needs to do. He's going for some, a lot of stuff, like, off stage. He doesn't want to fight Eon in the center stage right now, especially with Arsene. Oh, he was looking for that first hit of fair into up smash. Just barely missed it. That Ooh. should be it. Oh, no. and drops it. That f it. It didn't connect. His dash attack didn't connect completely. How unfortunate. Was, I don't know if dash attack was his best, best option there, but yeah, yeah he kind of ended up like falling out of it. I think F smash would have definitely reached out there, but I think he just he was like, dash attack's less committal and it would kill. Just, uh, boy, just happened to fall out. But right now, Eon at 119% does not want to get any more percent right now. Uh, Pikachu doesn't kill too early, but I mean, <laughs> it's Void as well, so you do want to be at this percent right now, on your last stock especially. Wow, dash, dash attack, yeah. yeah. Take it. That move actually is surprisingly very strong. And skull bash. It, yeah, it, it kills. Bash is your skull, man. <laughs> Pikachu's so strong with that dash attack and then looks so cute on the end know, screen. I know, I was about to say, <laughs> then he looks so cute at the end screen there, just sleeping. Yeah, don't be sleeping on anybody here, though, uh, for sure, especially Void. Mm -hmm. And this is Winter Summers, right? Uh, yeah, there should be. So best of five. Let's see if we're going to see. It. So I guess we're going to stick to the Pikachu. All right, switching. We're seeing a counter uh, pick, though, from Eon. Yep. Going to choose Fox here. I feel like he might be uh, a lot more comfortable with this matchup, especially because uh, he used to go um, back when uh, Void went Pichu. He would bring out his Fox all the time. So mm -hmm. maybe he just feels like it could be similar. Yeah, and he also has a lot more experience with Fox. I mean, he's been playing it since Smash 4. I'd like to say, I'd like to point out something about this matchup as well, though. It's super volatile. Like, if you have Fox off stage, Pikachu can just edge guard super hard. Yeah. And same thing goes with Fox. Edge guard, uh, actually can't edge guard, but has so many confirms. Like, I feel like this matchup is super, super even. Yeah, I feel like it's even, but maybe if anything, slightly in uh, Pikachu's favor, just because uh, he's guarding. able to, yeah, to edge guard properly, uh, can go for those downers off stage. But at the same time, too, Fox has a great recovery and it does have a hitbox as well. So, um, yeah, no, this is gonna be a really, really entertaining match. I'm excited. Just yeah. getting into it on Kalos. Yeah, this is a high, high, high ceiling uh, stage. Mm -hmm. So uh, if Fox is gonna be up smashing, it's not gonna kill super early. Um, unfortunately for Eon. But here we go, nice dash attack into upper. Yeah, nice yeah. little string he got there. It was his counter pick, but at the same time, I feel like it also benefits uh, Void just as much. So it's, I don't know, maybe he just feels comfortable on it. Oh, okay, good parry coming out from Void. Void playing fuck, crazy right now. Well, <laughs> we have a couple forwarders coming out. Void trying to keep Eon off stage. Nice call out on the air dodge. Uh, oh, and drops the edge guard. The <laughs> well, didn't drop the edge guard actually. Just downers to get, uh, that beats out the upbeat. All right, but actually, Eon not um, too bad at the deficit right now. He has, okay, just kind of letting Void get on for free there. We're going to see the up smash. I expected to see it. There you go. There just go. a little delayed. You called it. Yeah, you know that's what he's looking for. You know, I was thinking right now, uh, actually, this is, might be a good stage uh, against Pikachu for Eon because he doesn't want to get pineappled, right? And he also doesn't want to get edge guarded. Mm -hmm. So he wants to hit this, this wall and ride it up if, to mix up his angles. You know, he wants to mangle his way yeah. up onto the ledge. Especially, so. too, because Fox does have those good uh, kill confirms, like you were saying, kind of like, you know, uh, those hyper sense. You, you know, he's looking for dash attack, up smash, something like that. Or Nair. Um, Nair up smash, which yeah. A Nair up smash as well, which is a great um, move for him. So, I mean, it, it killed, too. Like, I feel like it will kill really early, even with the stage having the high ceilings. So, yeah, the stage probably is going to be working out. Uh, well, Eon slowly bringing it back. <laughs> nice air dodge, dodging that school bash. If he teched in place, that was he was going to get hit. So very smart from him. Okay. Nice pressure here. Eon does have a neutral right now. Is he going to let Void get back up from free like the last time? Okay, nice Nair call. He jumped, uh, he called out the Nair. Yeah, Eon is keeping Void <laughs> off the stage. He's really, really pressuring well. Here we go. Nice Nair. Void trying to attack on his own percent finally. But again, off stage. Ooh, yeah, you don't. You see Eon is kind of scared to like, go off stage right now. Um, as well. Okay, here we go. In a really scary situation here. Ended up back going in. Oh my god, down here. He teched. Eon got the tech. Oh my god, okay. I was going to say, he's still living. Um, but yes. You know, I called this matchup pretty even. But uh, word from Korean is that <laughs> this is one of his worst matchups. For Pikachu? So, no, for, for Fox. Which makes sense. We were, you know, totally uh, right. That's why I was like, I feel like it's in Pikachu's yeah, You know, sorry uh, for the misinformation here, you know. 
I'm really trash, so. <laughs> but here we go. We got a forward tilt. Gonna take Eon's. Well, Eon, he took the lead already. Just lapped him percent and brought it back. Whoa, Wait, did he air dodge? I don't know. Maybe he just like his up It looks oh. like he was trying to up Yeah, I, I just read his lips. You know, I saw him say he lost his jump. So didn't realize it and it was a little too late for him to up B. So second yeah. game going to Eon. I mean, it's, the uh, matchup, like we were saying, I feel obviously it's more in Pikachu's favor. But Eon actually doing a really good job holding his own there and um, displaying his talent alone with Fox as the character he's most comfortable with. And even if it's a bad matchup, he doesn't care. It's someone he's comfortable with, and he knows that he could take it, even if he's at the disadvantage. So yeah. this is actually really cool. I um, think he's doing a really good job of yeah. not going off stage. If he goes off stage then, that's when Void he just kind of picks the cherries and just like, you know, he just always he's always going to win that situation. Oh, my god. But here we go. Dang, damn combos. It's already at 70% here, Eon, actually popping off. What is bad happening? Bad matchup? I don't know. I don't know, Rafi's. Looking uh, good for Void right now. Yeah, right now, Eon only at 3%, and he's trying to continue with this lead. At the ledge, though, this might be a problem. Right, Void moving around, trying to figure out how to punt a percent, but that backer is going to put him back off stage. All right, more shield play. The only double jab, he's looking for some... Uh, double jab in there, it looked like there. Maybe yeah. into up smash or something after, something cheeky. Kind of reminded me of uh, in Smash 4, there was a... Uh, there was a, a string that you could do with double jab, and then you just double jab, double jab, double jab forever with Fox. I don't know if he's going for that in here. That's yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it just reminded I'm me of that, but I'm glad that's oh not in God. it. Goes for the random up smash there. I don't know about that. Boy definitely getting like 40% off of that one mistake there. Yeah, and because of that, he gets to bring it back. So right now, it's super, super even. Actually, super even. <laughs> oh, I know, the percent. Yeah. All right. Oh, Void on the ledge. Ooh, so oh, I mean, Eon. A nice Nair again. Great opportunity for Mo Void ended up missing it there, I think. Almost a DBZ moment, but Void going to get the better half of that stick. And going to survive. Still has his third stock, and right now is going to try to talk on as much percent as he can. Oh my god, I thought we were going to see a triple back air there. That was almost really scary, but I know Void didn't have a jump. Yeah. Um, yeah, Void actually, already we're seeing the reverse adaptation on his part now. Yeah, oh that backer is still not going to kill Pikachu, surviving to crazy percents. 150? Oh, oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah, I think he hit the wrong part of the stage. There's this part of the stage you can just ride up, and there's some one that's like a pineapple. Yeah, so. it's keeping you down on the That's really unfortunate. Unfortunately, see two SDs coming out from Void. That's super rare. Um, Eon's definitely going to have to capitalize off of that mistake here. Yeah, and Eon continuing to attack on percent. Earlier, he got a jab reset into some nice combo. Right now, wow. I mean, Void's trying to put it back on. Playing a lot patiently, too. He's kind of, I don't know what he's going for right now. I feel like he's just being really patient, wants to make uh, bait Eon to come to him, make the first move, and he's going to want to capitalize off of any mistake that he makes here. Nice parry. All right. Nair, yeah. trying to look for an up tilt, but I think uh, Void's at a little too high of a percent for that. It's funny, I, you say that they're playing very safe and very slow, and it's because they both, as soon as one of them gets a hit, the user can link into something else. So that's just w what it is like when you play against these fast, uh, really rushdown type characters. Yeah, they're both super heavy rushdown, and they're both kind of looking to poke at each other, get that first hit that they need, and convert off of something else back here. Wow, air. the back wow. wasn't even going to kill, but the pullback on <laughs> Fox's side beat actually killed him. This is so scary. I'm sorry. I always have to let out like, like a little scream well, because this is just this game. This I might be crazy. screaming later, but that <laughs> up smash going to take Eon's second stock. We're seeing some oh nair loops. God. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is what we were trying to see earlier. Drop and then what down nair right to up tilt. He did a fair, fair drag down in a grab. What is this? That was really sick and all, but I feel like the damage too only brought up like 60%. Yeah. Fox is going to get like three hits, and he's like at that percent. Still cool to see, though, nevertheless. Uh, that's very technical. A lot harder than it looks, guys. Yes, definitely very hard. So right now, Void at 45%, but on the ledge. Regrab. Uh, this, I think this is the second. It's a nice mix-up that he does. Yeah, why isn't... Wait, if it's regrab there, why isn't he on... I think yeah. he just expects him to land on stage. I'm trying to punish the stage lag, but... Uh, unfortunately, Void not going for it. Okay, yeah, this is big opportunity for Void here. Eon doesn't have a jump. Okay, letting him back on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah Skull Bash once again at 69% too. There you go. Void taking it up, taking it over 2 1 right now. Uh, let's see if Eon's going to switch or not. I wonder. 
I feel like he was doing really, really well uh, on stage. He's like, he's actually not going off stage much, and he's doing uh, some nice combo mix-ups, and Void's falling for a lot of them. So right now, it looks pretty even, but once Void starts taking advantage of uh, Fox's disadvantage state, that's when he's really beating him right there. That's what he's using mm -hmm. a lot of. Um, and honestly, I respect that Eon's kind of sticking with his, uh, you know, main because it's someone he's used to, and um, he knows that this is definitely going out of his reach. All of these games have been uh, super close, and despite the bad matchup, yeah, he could definitely, definitely do it. But we're actually going to see Town and City here. It's going to be um, another counter. I like that we're seeing actually all the different stages. All the only one we haven't seen now is FD here. But yeah, these That's platforms true. are going to be super crucial. And I feel like they're great for um, Fox in and actually better for Fox. But Pikachu can also utilize those platforms as well, especially with um, up air strings or even uh, thunder up smashes, all that good stuff. Yeah, so. I agree. This is definitely a, a better stage for, for Fox. Yeah, he's going to definitely want to use those platforms. They're gone now, but they'll be right back. Yeah, it's kind of like a mixture of FD and like... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, like Battlefield, kind of, kind of. But, um, that's why the stage kind of like. Oh no! Oh. The that's crazy. I don't. That should have grabbed ledge, but it unfortunately, yeah. it's. I guess the game, like the way it is, you know, you can't really complain. Yeah, that definitely should have grabbed the ledge there. That's unfortunate, especially because it has so much end lag when you directional air dodge and don't grab the ledge, you're yeah. dead. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how good your recovery is. Here we go. Plus your Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. All right, nice oh, nair nice. into off smash. And that looked like it was a tipper, like right on the foot too, so. Nice uh, placement from Eon, only at 25%, so not too bad of a, of a deficit right now. All right, he's trying to get the nair loop. Missing it, not getting that grab too. Eon not converting off of, or uh, following up with anything. Yeah. Holding shield, waiting really patient. Looks like he's a little scared right now. So respecting Void a little bit um, too much, but I think he's looking in a, looking mostly for an opening right now. Yeah, and right there he just found it. Pretty even, only 5% separating the two. Void, gonna get the grab. <laughs> and a fair. Looking. <laughs> That's what I wanted to start saying that now. Looking. Did I say that? No, I said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, trying to side B on a stage, but Pikachu being as quick as he is can just catch him on that platform. Right now, Eon at a little bit of a deficit. Oh, and crossing up, Void Shield. Very yeah, nice. Um, Void, uh, Void's missing a lot of grabs here. Not only uh, just because of that cross up though from Eon, but he's missed a lot of his um, grabs early on in the percent uh, in the beginning of the stock as well. Yeah, and I like seeing Eon using those lasers off stage, attacking a couple percent. So that was very smart by him. And you know, uh, go ahead. Okay, I was just gonna say. Uh, from Void too, it's actually really rare, rare to see um, a lot of like miss inputs too because he's a um, very like precise character. He knows how to play technical characters as well, and I uh, I don't know. It might be just because he's trying out Pikachu, and I, I respect that he's trying somebody new. You know, ended up dropping uh, Pichu and now getting the feel for him. But yeah. I feel like at the same time, like getting his uh, reverse Thunder Jolt there, he's kind of missing. Um, Messing up a few opportunities, and honestly, this is probably a big reason too why it's so close. Yeah, and unfortunately for Void, Pichu getting uh, massively nerfed. So this is why we're probably seeing the Pikachu. And right now it's working. Already has Eon at 66%, and he's continuing to tack on the percent. Ooh, that was, yeah, yeah that was a good call out there. <laughs> he was trying to get like cats to drift forward from Eon, but not going to get it there. Or maybe he was trying to read like a directional air dodge. And, and put yeah, could have been. Thunderbolt there. Let's do another nair. We're both sitting at one. They e both have e um, even stocks here. Now, Eon at a very high percent. He's going to need to start getting some nice combos on to, to avoid nice nair to dash attack, though. Here we go. This is what Eon needs here. He, oh, the opportunity that's probably going to take a stock. not going to kill. Yeah. That, it just, Pikachu's very weak compared to, uh, comparatively to, like, Pikachu. So. Are we going to see another Skull Bash kill? We always see. We'll probably see that at um, taking the stock. Possibly All right, F up tilt, Void at 105%. Ooh, I like the down smash there. I like that he tried for that. Yeah, if it was Smash 4 and there was no Directional Air Dodge, that would definitely would have caught him. But in this game, add a Directional Air Dodge, and it was a good good one by Void. Oh my god, the rush down from Void just waiting for him. Up throw kills! Oh. <laughs> up throw kills! It's Pikachu! But I guess, I mean, Fox is very light, so makes a little sense. Yeah, no. They, they got to give Pikachu something, you know. Pichu had pretty much every